I started my career as a teacher and used that to travel all around the world, but my heart very much lies in, in the country and we've ended up coming back here and, and setting up our, our life in a, in a rural community. We all know that person that's spent years gaining their university degree, spent 10 or 15 years in the corporate world, climbing the corporate ladder, and then they fall in love with a farmer and move to Western New South Wales, where the skills and knowledge and experience that they've gained over their career is now sitting idle on farm. I founded Pointer in 2017, and it is a job matching platform that connects business with talent that works remotely. We work with businesses in the city as well as regional rural remote communities to help them find the best person for a job that doesn't matter where they live. As I've come along the journey with Pointer, I've found that we've faced some challenges and barriers to entry for both professionals and businesses looking to get involved in remote work. And those challenges have been the basis for my project for the Rural Women's Award. I'm building a portal that will be housed within Pointer's platform, which will be an aggregator of content, training, ability to upskill, as well as certifications that people can do online in their own time. So my vision is that if you live anywhere in Australia, whether it's metro, regional, rural or remote Australia, if you want to work in a professional role and you have good phone service and good internet, that you can do that job from anywhere. The AgriFutures Rural Women's Award really represents a, a platform and a spotlight for the incredible things that rural women all over Australia are doing. And I feel it's the most amazing time to be a woman living in rural Australia. I feel that there's been such a, a shift in mindset to women working, re-entering the workforce and really contributing on a, a really substantial level for rural communities and for their families themselves with more uptake of employing people remotely and offering flexibility for people that work for you is that when my daughters enter the workforce in the next 15 to 20 years that they're going to be able to have a meaningful and fulfilling job from wherever they want to work or live in Australia.